uh, Scott here. Look, I've put a video together for you on how to change the left-hand side engine mount on a W204 C-Class Mercedes. The uh, left-hand side mount often fails if you have the V6 uh, diesel in particular because of the high torque. Um, I've also come up with a way of reinforcing the mount with some high-strength uh, polyurethane construction sealant. So uh, hopefully you'll find this um, very helpful. It's fairly common apparently with the uh, V6 3 litre diesel. So I'll just take the cover off and I'll show you what's happening. The way to test your engine mounts is to start the engine, uh, put the transmission in gear, hold your foot on the brake and blip the throttle and that transfers all the torque into the engine. It's trying to twist the engine rather than uh, drive it. First job is to remove the engine bash plate and the big plastic uh, cover underneath the transmission. So there's five 13 millimeter bolts under here. They're below the air box. So there's one on each side and there's an air box on each side. Very simple to remove. You firstly unclip the mouth of the air intake. So that just unclips and then you can just pull that out like that. So that's easy enough. And then there's a hose clamp here. So you undo that with a 7mm socket and then you've got two bolts here you know, one there and then one down the back quite low so you undo those two and the clamp and then you can just engine mount you can easily get to that top bolt and then the two bolts um, that hold the bottom of it onto the chassis you access them from under the car. So there's the underside of the mount and there's one bolt there and there's the other bolt these two bolts under here are 13 millimetres and they're not very tight. There are the two bolts. So this is completely free now. So next step is to lift the engine with a jack under the sun. I'll set the jack up there with some timber and I'm jacking on the left hand side of the motor. Jack the motor now. You have to actually Jack it up quite a lot. Now I can see that the left hand side is going up further than the, the right hand side. 
Now that seems to be clear enough, so I'm going to get underneath the vehicle and lift that out. So here's the old one that's completely failed. Okay, now let's have a go at putting this back in again. Now the rubber on the top half of the mount goes towards the engine. Slip this in. That's it. So the two locating dowels are in place. Uh, so now I can um, lower the jack, lower the engine on. under the car again I'm just putting in the lower uh, two mounting bolts with the 13mm and I have to do these up to 28 newton meters what I used on the end, the universal joint, to get to it. So I've squirted um, the polyurethane into the, the front, or sorry, the rear of the mount and into the back of the mount. So here's the old engine mount. I'll just show you how I put the polyurethane in to strengthen this thing. Um, I used uh, a product here called um, a high strength polyurethane construction sealant. So it's very, very strong, but it's also flexible. So once you've put your mount back into the car, you need, you need to have it loaded to be able to put the polyurethane in because when it's unloaded, the centre will actually be fully extended and hard up against this flange here. Once you put it in the engine, um, this will retract into the body around about 15 mm. Brackets sort of sitting here it's bolted on so you can really only sort of access uh, these two sides here so I'll show you what I did uh, I got the uh, polyurethane and I squirted it into here I just put a big blob in and then the same over the other side so just to the sides that I could get to And then I just um, sprayed a bit of detergent onto the, the fingers of my rubber gloves and then I just sort of pushed that in on both sides. Now we'll put the gearbox back on, a bit of silicon spray on those uh, locating dowels there. Make it a bit easier. Um, all I have to do is just put the plastic cover on underneath the transmission and the alloy, or sorry, the metal cover under the engine. I don't need to show you how to do that, that's very simple. So, thanks for watching.